You know, the farther we hike, the deeper we go, the more I keep hearing the words Blair Witch Project in the back of my mind. Okay, good morning to you folks. It is the Friday after Thanksgiving. We're finally headed out into the world after sleeping off all of the gorge fest from yesterday. Yes. We're about an hour behind our schedule, so to speak. Um, we're gonna head over to the park office and see about the Black Friday specials. Uh, we tried to book a spot taking advantage of that rate. The, the state park system has a Black Friday sale going on because it doesn't everybody. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we tried to book a spot for next June uh, up at Calhoun Falls, and the website was giving me fits. And, of course, it's a state holiday, so you can't call anybody. Right. So we're going to go check it and see if anybody up there at the office can help us. And then we're going to uh, do a little hiking and see what there is to see nature-wise, and then we'll just kind of wing it after that. So come along for the ride. <laughs> Okay, so I think we've got the reservation situation squared away. We're, we're booked for next June at Calhoun Falls, so you'll see that in no oh, half a year or so. <laughs> uh, we're really debating about how tough we are. <laughs> Not very. Because as you can probably hear, this wind's pretty stiff. I mean, you can see water. Get on the lake the white caps. Now, we're at the big trail. <laughs> what is this information here? Mostly things we already knew. Me so bad the wind calm down. It's well, I mean, it's still cool, but it's rather nice now. It's nice. The trees are kind of breaking up the wind, which definitely is a little more comfortable. <laughs> we still may not make the entire seven and a half miles, but <laughs> but we're I think we're gonna end up doing more than we originally thought we might. But things are working out. <clears throat> I wonder if that's Hurricane Michael stuff. It's blocking the trail. We just had to kind of crawl through and across and amongst and around. And <laughs> but now that we are on the other side, I'm wondering if this is actually the trail and that that's just Hurricane Michael damage from a couple of months ago that hadn't been cleared out yet. Okay, so where are these fox squirrels you kept telling me were around? Oh, I'm fairly certain they'd be all over at the golf course. That's where the food is. Uh. And the beer. They can get a beer. Will there be beer? Look up little spot squirrels on Wikipedia, folks. Those, scary. those guys will mug you. <laughs> With bandit masks and everything. I've been golfing before here in Santee and had those spot squirrels come up to me on the cart. And I'm not terribly exaggerating when I say they look at you with the look to communicate, dude, you better hand over a snicker bar or it's your life. <laughs> and they mean it. We 
have reached. Yeah. Three and <laughs> three and a half. Three, <laughs> three and a half. Three and a half miles later. I didn't know we had it in to tell you the truth. I didn't really think we'd be able to do it. <laughs> Not with this wind. Thank goodness for the trees breaking it. Wow. Uh, we'll be happy to sit down for a minute and eat some lunch. And maybe call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Food. I'm not. And I've earned this fully leaded Mountain Dew, so. Because we just walked for three miles. <laughs> Almost four. Almost four. And got to do it again! <laughs> um, yeah, they don't have one. Why don't call an Uber? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Live and learn. Lesson. 37C stroke one. <laughs> Keep in. We're, we are now doubling back because we learned that caution tape really means don't go there tape. <clears throat> Nobody told us this section of the trail was closed. We just assumed that this was because of because of bike traffic. This is this is hiking and a bicycle trail. And we assumed that this meant that it was unsafe for bicyclers. But you know, hey, you could walk anywhere, right? Well, we learned different. Mm -hmm. So after going, I would say we even went a mile in there, but we went a good hefty walk in there. Yes, we did. And realized we couldn't go any further, so we had to double back. So now we're back where we started half 40 minutes ago, maybe, and oh. still have three miles and change back to the campsite. <sighs> Here we go. Mm. <laughs> so we think that trail was, we're pretty sure that trail was closed off because of all the detritus and debris from Hurricane Florence. I said Hurricane Michael earlier, I meant Florence. Uh, that rolled through here, what, back into September? Or October? I think October. October, I think it was. There were, there were multitudinous, upturned, ginormous pines and oaks back in there. And, you know, there's no way you could buy six back through there. But we thought on foot we could navigate the debris. And we actually, we did navigate the debris. It was, we were losing the trail markers. Mm -hmm. We kept having to go around fell trees and then we'd lose sight of the trail markers and it got to the point where we couldn't find one at all. And the breadcrumbs were gone. <laughs> so we doubled back. <clears throat> Is, is that, is that, that is, it's the road. We've made it out alive. And we didn't have to resort to cannibalism. <laughs> I must admit there were moments that I didn't think we'd make it. But we made it. <laughs> Home. <laughs> Let us in, honey. Please. And Saturday morning, it's breakdown time. We're about halfway through the process, I guess. A little bit. And we thought we'd give you a look inside the Falcon. You don't get to see him very much. <laughs> uh, and we'd stop to tell you what we thought about Santee State Park. Yes. And I, for one, uh, am fairly pleased. I enjoyed it. It was very nice. People were very helpful including uh, the hosts and the other campers. Uh, backing in <laughs> uh, when we first got here. Uh, this was the, uh, the first two times we went uh, camping. Our sights were on the interior of the loop. Uh, this time we were on the exterior of the loop. So, of course, the angle is, is the opposite direction. So instead of looking over my left shoulder while backing in, I had to look over my right shoulder mm -hmm. and well that line of sight is blocked by the camper so i had some difficulty getting into the spot and fortunately two fairly nice guys i mentioned this too early two nice guys were walking by and they offered their assistance one of one of whom said he was a tractor trailer driver instructor uh a couple of extra turns and, and i was in place uh, i think it just was a case of he kind of knew what spot to point to and he knew how to word it and better than I did. I don't say better, but sometimes <laughs> vocabulary from somebody without a wedding ring on or your wedding ring on 
<laughs> has a little bit of a difference on things. But also, all that ends well. We got in place. And uh, I know that next month, uh, I don't know about Asheville, but I know uh, the trip after that to Aiken State Park will be on an exterior loop. Uh, so I'll get to practice one way or another. <laughs> Another thing we have learned with such a small space and such short trips are how to pack more efficiently. We, <laughs> I'm better at putting things away instead of just leaving it sitting on the uh, dinette seat and having to move it all the time. So mm. I actually <laughs> found packing cubes <laughs> to pack individual days, you know, an outfit um, and to make unpacking into the and you got them storage cabinet. You got them on Amazon, right? I did. If I, I can find the links to Amazon, I'll put them in the description below so you guys can find them. They've been pretty helpful. I even, well, I started to see even slob like me, but who are we kidding? I'm, I'm not a slob. But, no, but, it, 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 but it, Miss Engineer here, she, she came up <laughs> with a pretty good system for getting things, enough wardrobes for multiple days into a confined space. I'm a terrible packer. I pack twice as much as I ever need for a trip. <laughs> He's worse than a girl sometimes. In a way. So, yeah, she came up with a good idea. And again, I'll put the links to those things down there so you can make use of them too. And last thing before we let you go, I want to admit to something, confess to something, to just, just to show that I am willing to suffer the indignity and the embarrassment personally so that you folks will not suffer the same terrible fates that befall me, us. Last month, we didn't get it on video because we're not fast enough on the camera yet to record disasters as they happen. Um, but I've got something I'll drop over here to show you oh, while I'm telling you about it. As we were approaching the dump station last month in Paris Mountain, up in Greenville, uh, I unscrewed the valve cap and out starts gushing sewage. I do believe that's the fastest my reflexes have ever responded in my entire life. I got that cap back on quickly enough that a couple of drops on my shoes and a little bit on the ground, which we were able to hose away with the water hose there at the station. Uh, but it turns out that somebody, me, <laughs> left the black tank gate open when we dumped the month before. And so needless to say, we have learned to check that black tank gate closure <laughs> repeatedly <laughs> when we get here check when your we seals here, and check your valves <laughs> that's religion now that will never ever happen again so learn from my mistakes <laughs> make sure your both your gray and your black but especially your black tank gates are closed before you remove the valve cap to dump yes <laughs> And thus concludes another wonderful trip in the Falcon. We love Santee State Park. Yes. We are looking forward to our first real cold weather excursion. Sure. Uh, we're also looking, no, not necessarily looking forward to, but we've got to deal with it. Our first mountain excursion, uh, Paris Mountain being a mountain in name only. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be going to Asheville to stay at the KOA West yes. camp, camp up there. We will visit Biltmore Estates. We might even get two videos worth of uh activity out of that trip uh, to, sh to share with you guys. Um, this will be our first RV resort experience. Sure. Our first three trips so far have been state parks, um, which are lovely, but we want to try something different. So we will have some new things to learn and to share with you. So until then, keep living and learning, and thanks for taking a look at what we do. Mm -hmm.